Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. Welcome along to the stream this morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Hello to Havoc. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Uh, Expert Cookie, hello. Have you here in the stream with us in Pleasant View Farms? Good morning to you. Or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. So, we are back on our uh, the Argzy Gaming multiplayer server. We've got a whole lot of canola, and I thought it'd be a good time to jump back in um, and show off some of the work that everyone's put in on the server. There is a lot that has been done. Uh, see Mark sitting there, he's in the pickup, uh, got some eggs. So we've got, uh, got a whole lot of animals, there's some sheep over the back there. And uh, I think if I go right up around here, there's, uh, we can see in the distance there, a few cows. Hello Donald, how are you? I am doing it quite well, thank you. Boaty. Hello, how are things? Nice to have you here. They are legend. Hello, have you here as well? So, yeah, as I was saying, some moo cows. Kids today. Uh, Kerim up here, who has been one of the mainstays on the server lately, along with Mark Thor and Scott Fuchs. I've done a huge amount of work. And there is Scott in the chat as well. G'day, Scott, how are you? Klaus. Hello and greetings from Hamburg. Well, good afternoon to you in uh, Germany. Welcome along. Nice to have you here. But I think so. I'm just going to. Uh, what am I going to do? I don't know if you saw the image I shared on uh, the community tab. It was to show the changes that have happened. We've got a uh, few different combines, a lot more equipment. Got a big pad up here to keep everything stored on. A couple of S7 series. Combines, new planters, everything we could need on the farm. All up here. Lots around, but I'm just going to jump into easy dev mode. Fly up here. I think this will be the best way to show off what's been done. So there's been a huge amount of uh, land clearing and field expansion. And what we have now... Uh, you see on the map, go to review which shows it, but uh, you can see there all of these fields have all been joined. And in fact, if I turn the canola off, see the line through that goes through about there that was all forest, it's all being cleared, all one big field now. And likewise, these fields through here, all been uh, row of trees that was through there's all been cleared, and so now one a very very decent size field so that's our job for today get in there in the combines get that all uh harvested lots to do uh way is that correct a big hello from berlin germany so welcome to you too another uh another viewer from germany so nice to have you here great to see you in the stream so I don't know what the others are going to do, but I reckon I'm straight into a combine. I had thought I'd uh, I'll get some equipment down to one of the fields. I get some equipment down first. Uh, then we will go now. This I did notice when I was on here earlier. These two heater trailers are a little bit uh, connected. See. I can pull that one, see the, it's even connected to the trailer too, like the locking script for the heater trailers got all confused, alright, turn that back on so I can see everyone's names, does Mark ever sleep, that's a question we have to ask Mark, I don't, I'm not sure if he does or not, uh, so, I wonder if we put the other combine on the other heated trailer, what happened? Jarks, hello to you, welcome along, nice to have you here. Tuning in from South Africa, good to have you here mate. So, there we go, that's going to free up that heater. The trailer's still no good, so if we... You can just sneak that onto the back of the combine, the one orthodox. Uh, 
No, that's not going to work. All right. I'm going to have to get one of the other trailers. I'm going to take that trailer out. All right, let's see what there is available. Tractor somewhere. And... Close. A loader. Truck down at the shop. Truck there. Right, looks like this one. Definitely agree that Mark is a uh, is a big help, and not just the work he's done on the farm. Um, for those who don't know, I think there was a thirty-two hours straight on the server. Yeah. Spent a lot of time doing things, pretty incredible. And there was also a lot of work he's done with uh, some mods and things like that to uh, get things set up for different things. So the planters, he's tweaked those couple of planters over there, the Great Plains ones. Um, but he's also helped me out with a few things for tweaking a few mods as well. Right, there we go, that got that disconnected. So. Pull that up there. If we can jump on one of these. Now, if anyone wants is interested in joining the server, uh, jump on the Discord. Be a link in the uh, video description, or if you type exclamation dis exclamation mark Discord in the chat, you'll get a link. But it's open for anyone. You don't have to um, be a financial supporter of the channel or anything like that. Uh, anyone can join, but all I ask uh, is that you treat it like your own. Uh, obviously there's been a lot of time spent, a lot of work done on things here. I'm quite sure where we're going. Start up here on, around here. Over by, start over first. Yeah, so just ask for this. Um, I that you to respect it. Treat it like your own, don't come in and be uh, doing anything stupid. And just have fun. Uh, and certainly, if we have a bit of fun today on the stream, there'll be more opportunities to do this again in the future. Alright, so... Get a, get up. Now that we've got everything untangled... Leave that one there. So get the other one. Got, got gonna grab it, was he? There he is, he's in the other combine. Perfect. I think grab this tractor and grab one of the uh grain cart. That's actually what I thought I'd do. I'll run the grain cart around. Bit of income there, I think Mark must have shot down he was gonna sell some uh sell some eggs. Eggs for it that he had in the uh truck here at the start. Oh, got that. Oh, planter. Uh, seeds in that one. Do we have one that doesn't have anything in it? This one over here. I know there was one that had lime in it too. So this might have lime in it. does. Right. Uh, that's the thing, right? What are we going to do? Uh, I wonder if Scott's going to try and load, take the seed out of there, put it into the uh, planter. I see what he's doing. Haha. <laughs> Carla Freeman, welcome. The new life American farmer. Yep, American farm life by Fancy Boy. It uh, I can categorically say it is an amazing looking map, having had some time on it. And uh, I know there's a few issues with the console version. This is this one's full too, Scott. You're not going to get any more seed in here. Full. Oh, you're listening.
Um, yeah, it is. Um, I know there's a few issues with console being uh, specifically the Xbox version. You might just have to unload to the ground. Yeah, you've got it. Um, and roads were disappearing. It was clashed with something. Some clashed there with the Alpine DLC. Apparently, Missy B had similar issues. TNT modding had a similar issue. Um, so hopefully they get that sorted out. But it seems like it's a giant's problem, not uh, not something that Lancey Boy's done. So if you're on PS4 or PS5. It should all be fine. I've downloaded it on console. I've got a copy on PS5. So, and uh, you look around and didn't have any issues. So, it certainly does look like it'll be a uh, fantastic map. Klaus, yeah, that'd be pretty impressive, wouldn't it? We'd, uh... I have seen people who've set up the uh, trains behind combines using a baler and a uh, auto load trailer and things like that. Oop. Flip the header trailer there and now it's upside down. Is that right? That let's go. The license plate on the fence is from your hometown. What where was that? Not there. There you go. All right, let's Ooh. that on the post. Oh, turn that on. Unfold it. Rookie mistake. Is it out on PC yet? Not quite. There was a couple of things that I think um, Lancey Boy was still working on with the PC version. He wasn't quite happy yet. I'm not quite sure what it was. Now of course we've got Straw Me on so we can uh, write for this. Or if that's what the guys want to do. We'll find out. Uh, So it won't be far away from PC, I don't expect KL Legend. Um, but if you wanted to wait a little bit longer, there will be a farming edition too with all the added crops and bits and pieces that come with that. So you could uh, wait and grab that if you wanted to. Taz, hello mate, welcome along. Nice to see you. Scorpion lunchtime got in the way. Food then farming. Oh, we know we know the rules. That's Bam Bamberg, Germany. Oh there we go. We've got a few Germans in the chat tonight. Welcome along. Haven't caught up on any uh Euro football results yet. I'm not sure whether your team played. Tid Oh, sorry. Drop my phone. Dump the mouse and wrecked everything. Just gonna look at your Euro results. See what happened overnight. Oh there we go, there will be there will be some happy Germans in the chat, so Portugal, Germany last night. All this morning, all this afternoon. Two own goals by the Portuguese, eh? There we go. Right, so we're underway. I think Mark said he would go, was going to come back and grab one of the other combines. And uh, we obviously had the auger wagon there. Ready to go. Not sure whether, uh, whether they were going to bring the trucks up or whether we're going to put this in the silos or whatnot. I know that there's uh, already oh, 700,000 litres of wheat in there. Actually, wheat's a good price. 
probably be stealing some of that. The, uh, high demand at the Cooperative Agricole. Of the tree. Martin Nagel, welcome in, mate. Nice to see you. Hope, uh, hope you're doing well, mate. And Fidel Art 15, hello to you. Nice to have you here, joining the stream. And Bobby Schmitz, I missed you there. Welcome, nice to have you. As no, I am not alone. We've got Kerem, Mark, and Scott all on the server at the moment. Certainly plenty of space for anyone else who wanted to join. Don't worry about the sink, I can handle that if you wanted to jump on. Help out with some harvesting or something. now I've only got harvest to go on. Not even the whole way around the field. This is the smaller of the two as well. We are going to be here for a while. How's it going Polycount Tez? Uh it's, I'm doing well mate. Doing well. Bit of a uh stormy weekend here. So not too much time doing anything. Let's get inside. I'm just trying to catch up on some things. Although I've been feeling a little bit tired the last few days. A bit, a bit, a bit worn out though. I actually was trying to record a video last night and actually ended up giving up. It was not working so I'll uh, get done later on. Check how the uh, at least I did record with uh, of a standard I like to keep them or not. So I know that actually probably a caveat, it is quite stormy still, so if I happen to disappear, every chance there's been a power cut or something. Anyone's in a brain card. Um, yeah, it's the one to come and unload us. And then we can see Mark coming down the field too. I can see the truck driving around. I'm guessing Aram's probably getting that set up. See where everyone is and Scott's, Scott's running around too. Ah, farmer's market again today, Scott. Sold everything again, apart from a couple of slices here for you. Is it, uh, what is it today? Tomorrow, Monday, will be the solstice. For me, obviously, be winter solstice, the longest, shortest day of the year. And then we will have, uh, for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, will be the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. You don't notice on this map how much, uh, oops, here we go, we're full. And it happened on a downhill and I can't stop in time. Oh dear. We go. There's someone who's that coming around there. Got some cart. Oh, yeah, there you go. On his way. I'm some Jim. Welcome along. Nice to see you. You're doing well. All 
Alright, it's good. There's enough space, actually. It's a good, good spot. Right on uh, what would have been a field entry. A few rock areas to deal with, hopefully. Squeeze in past those. I was just about to say, as I, as I went down the hill and over the crop, was that uh, there's quite a lot of contour on this map, and you don't realise it when the fields were broken up like it is. You look across there now, a lot of undulation. I'm not sure whether the... Uh, I'm not sure how they, they got rid of the fences. I know there was some fences in between the fields, because they've landscaped over them. 100% sure on that. Apple, welcome along to the stream. No worries at all. Uh, nice to have you here. Even even if you only joined us for five minutes or you were here for the whole stream, I appreciate the time that you will give me and uh, hope you enjoy being here for that period. There we go. Well, that first load all done there yeah, been a uh, issue with the contours in the heater or something that is the one downside to having rough fields or uneven fields not so rough but uh, sometimes with these big heaters they end up skipping sections like that not harvesting that but There we go, good to go up and down on it. Whether there was a little bit of, see there's a bit of harvest crop in there, something different. Not sure, Not sure what's going on. Black Book, welcome along. Wishing you a rocking stream and a pleasant day. Well thank you very much. My friend, hope you have had a nice Saturday. Relaxing into your Saturday afternoon or evening. And uh, enjoy the stream. Nice to have you here, mate. 32 degrees Celsius, Apple. That, uh, that's getting up there. Was it humid as well? Because that's often what, uh, you know, what's the killer. A dry heat's not too bad, but when you get a sticky, humid day, not much fun at all. So hearing you talking in Celsius, what part of the world are you? joining us from Bull Gaming howdy to you welcome along nice to have you here there's my mate Braden hey Braden how are you nice to see you buddy Hope all is uh hope all is well. Apple from Croatia. Well welcome from Croatia. Because we had to stop there and wait for a bit, but certainly catching up, he would have been able to offload on the move as well. Having that uh, space that I've made for them, they would have been able to do that. Concentrating on my way around the corner, I didn't want to clip that tree. I've already clipped enough with that side of the header. The uh, workshop's not going to be happy. All right, I'll tell you what though, we've uh, two headers taken a fair amount off that field already. 
gonna take. If you look at the map again, there, it's not actually gonna take anywhere near as long as I thought it was. And I thought from my first pass, it was uh, gonna take a while, Mark. You need to get off and all oh, good, buddy. Oh, off for ten. No, no worries. Sure, one of the other guys can jump in and uh, take over. Unload while Scott's here, he's all set up waiting for us. So we'll uh, get the heater emptied out again. Hopper emptied out again. Go on it, Martin. Absolutely. Yep, jump in. No worries. I can uh, appreciate it if there'll be a little bit of a sink. That's fine. I'm trying to get into Martin. Have you found the new password for the. Uh, Found the new password for the uh, server uh, in, in the Discord. I put it there in the channel chat. Um, make sure you've got the hashtag in the front and the capital letter on the front as well. No other punctuation needed. One word. And anyone who wants to join, I was saying a bit earlier, this is a uh, open to anyone have to join in the discord server to get all the password and access the mods and things like that but other than that it is free to join all I ask is that you uh, read it with respect as if it was your own game and uh, playing semi semi realistically I mean we're not not being uh, not being over over the top with the realism, but uh, trying to keep things a bit serious. Casey Edwards, welcome along. Thank you for the subscription. Cat legend keeps falling asleep last night, cutting that field. I was so tired. Which one was that? Did you jump on and mow the uh, mow the grass field? So we've got uh, this field up here, these two, 53 and 54, both grass fields. And there's also this one over here, which I've bought, which has got some barley in it. Born Etna, I think, for the subscription. At least I've got all the alerts working, so we're uh, a bit patchy. Alright, I'm just trying to think, is there a way I can set GPS up if I go... Go down on this line, it looks like the Kirim's over there getting some... Uh, what's that he's got on the back? Like wool. Loading up some wool before, so he must be getting that off to the uh, market. Try and set up a GPS. I'm going to cut through the middle of the field. We go and up that up. Whip get the header. Forty foot. Not bad for a forty-five foot header that it cuts forty-six foot foot. Okay. Are there any new mods also loaded? Uh when were you last in the server, Martin? It probably has been in the last last two or three weeks. We've certainly added a few. There should be a link in the server info chat which you can go through when you log when you're trying to join it should show what's read what's not there Load that other course than I did. 
reset it now. Far enough. No. My A point. Oh, the field I'm on now. Right. Oh, the last night. Last time you were on, not last night. Last. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Field now A. Here we go. Ah, uh, right. That makes sense. Cut through the field now. So we work on this one side and dot can go along on the other. Uh here's my lost my wits though, haven't I? Yep. Start that one again. It was a GPS. This is where our sim dashboard is a big help because you can check all those settings like the header width, auto width and things like that on the fly without having to open up the menu. Karim's getting some wool sold. Assuming that's the price for one bale, $584. Must be, where has he gone to sell the wool? Down here must be the spinnery. There it is. Five eighty four a bale. Oh, seven hundred and thirty for one. Must be a whole lot of varied sized bales in there. All right, so what are we? Twenty two percent. Back up over there to the car and I get uploaded while we're here. Hayden Hust, hello to you, welcome along. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you're joining us from. Hope you're having a nice weekend, great to have you here. I'm doing well, thank you. Doing very well. Nice to get on here and play with some of the uh, community members. And uh, check out all the progress I've made on uh, getting, growing this farm. It's been pretty impressive. It was the 30th of May that we all I played on here last that we launched the service. So it's only been going on three weeks. And uh, the amount of equipment, the way the fields have grown has uh, been pretty impressive. It's not take long, we're going to have a big chunk of the map owned by the farm. Got to check on progress, there we go. We're going to get through this pretty quickly, good. Got some time while he's... Uh, Cruise along with GPS and cruise control to uh, have a chat and chat.
Right. Terum's coming back. So uh jump on selling some of that. Where is the cooperative control house? That side. So out the back of the farm. Yeah. What oh, the biggest capacity truck we've got? Probably the man tipper. I think is can't remember now. Let's have a look at the beacon. And what the capacity of that is, how many trips we'd have to take to get down and get some wheat sold. We'll have a look in our garage. Forty nine thousand. Decent, decent lineup of equipment. Yeah. Keeps going and going. Oh, those are the best sleepings when you know there's no kids that are going to wake you up. The next weekend, uh, I'm going away next weekend with some friends, celebrate their wedding anniversary, so uh, there won't be, there will be no live stream weekend, unfortunately. So, uh, looking forward though, I don't have to get up for kids to board on Saturday either, so look forward to a couple of sleepings next week. Is the farmer's market, is that just a seasonal market corp or is it a year-round thing? It was only April that your wife started selling at them or had it been uh, not running because of the pandemic and restrictions or... Ah, oh, good friends from Ford Egg, welcome along. Nice to see you guys. I'm going well, thank you very much. Ah, Martin's here, welcome Martin. Finally got onto the server. So if you haven't checked out, go and have a look at Ford Egg's Facebook page. Give their uh, YouTube channel some love. They've uh, created some wonderful, which you would have seen on Bum Some Guy and I've used on West Texas. Uh, I've used it on Western Australia, some fantastic anhydrous equipment, um, particularly the uh, DC7500 tank. Awesome piece of kit, and it has just been upgraded to custom tracks. So they've uh, designed some tracks for that using the new. Um, track array creator that's uh, been going around uh, and they look fantastic so I'm looking forward to getting that out on one of the uh, games soon probably the Western Australia uh, we've got everything planted on West Texas so we'll be getting that out on West Australia and having a go with that there It'll be fun that's ever cause cause to catch up on chat Ah, uh, so it's seasonal eight. I would have thought, I would have thought Texas, you'd just be able to do something like that year round. Cool. Ah, uh, Martin joined and left. That's a bummer, mate. I know others, not on this server, I know people have sometimes have sync issues. You obviously managed to get all the mods installed, so that must be a connection problem there, mate. Now, we had this, there was, there's a setting. I remember having this conversation with someone for the Farm Sim Guys server on Homeworld. And there, I can't remember what the setting was, but if you Google it, I'm pretty sure there's something in Steam which you can turn off. There's a simple setting in Steam. If you keep on having this issue, 
to uh, try and fix it. I can't remember what it was. Oh, did he stay in? Ah, he stayed in. Yeah, good. So you got storms to watch out for, that makes sense. I did see that your tracks were uh, public. Uh, very generous of you for the community. They're pretty unique in uh, the design, aren't they, with that sort of flat top on them. We got running across here. Martin. Welcome Martin. Great to see you back in here. Jump in a combine if you like. Uh, otherwise there's all this straw which we need to get picked up. I'm guessing we'll bale it. Put the variable bale capacity right up. Get this baled and sold. Uh, the truck's probably going to be occupied now with canola, but there is some wheat which we could sell at a good price too. Coming through. And doesn't Texas always have nice weather? We've uh, been through this field a lot quicker than I expect. I mean, if we're going to be pedantic scorpion, it should have been your channel as well, not you channel. But we won't, we won't call out friends. Alright. <clears throat> X mods, hello, welcome along. Nice to see you there. Great to have you in the stream. Hope you uh, are doing well. Right, we'll uh, cruise along here. We will uh, put the air and not get emptied out. Not that. Uh, g'day mate, how you doing? Do you? Hope, uh, hope you're having a nice weekend mate. There we go, cart's full again. Yeah, two combines, that cart. Probably not quite big enough. We'll go and start off on the other side. Yes, we'll line up here, but we will just press the button and see where we go. You know what? That could not just about be more perfect if I tried. I'm gonna taper down to a, a smaller row, but uh, pretty much spot on. Yeah, I mean that's the one thing we don't get is that kind of rural extreme weather. Although it was uh, up north, north of New Zealand yesterday, um, there was a few tornado actually. Um, not something we get a lot of, and certainly not on the scale that the uh, that you guys get over in your part of the world. But uh, fortunately, there was someone 
was through an urban area or an industrial area and someone lost their life. Sad. Certainly not something we're prepared for, it's for sure. Many years ago, actually. I would have been 13, so. We actually had a tornado, small tornado go through um, my parents' farm. And it ripped down a couple of sheds. Broke some fence posts off at ground level, so decent amount of force in the wind. Um, some of the corrugated iron that was on the roof through, um, was thrown a few hundred metres away and then embedded in the ground about a foot deep. So, a bit of force. But at the time that was a bit of a unique experience, but uh, weather's certainly changed a little bit lately. Quietly. Sorry, right, distracted to one of the children. Bummer Pete. Oh, shouldn't look at Chad and try and drive either. And I own the farm. So, really should be the guys who have done all the work that own it. Oh, who's coming down the same line? Martin, look up. Look up. We're going to have a collision. Oh no, got us. Bend around. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. Farmer Pete. Hey guys from our tractor and our cornfield in central Washington, USA. Welcome along, Farmer Pete. Working hard. Good on you. What are you doing in the... Uh, what are you doing in your cornfields at the moment? Are you planting? Or is it a bit late for planting? So you um, spraying? Fertilizing? What's going on? What's going on on the, on the corn at the moment? I know I get a lot of my uh, knowledge of uh, American farming, what's going on from watching YouTube guys, so. Like the. Uh, Millennial Farmer, uh, Welker's Farm, Corn, Call the Corn Star. Yep, working on a Saturday boat, our farming. Farming's a seven day a week job. Weekends really don't exist when you're a farmer, do they? All the when all the jobs are done you can find some time to kick back and relax for a bit. Glad to be here, love the community. Well, I really appreciate that. I'm a Pete, and it is a wonderful community. It really is a great bunch of people. Uh we're having every one of you here. Everton Moraes, hello from Brazil, welcome along from Brazil, nice to have you here. Hope you are uh, well in Brazil. Right, look at that. Martin will pick up that one side and we'll come back down and grab this other. And then we'll be all done out of here. And Ryan, welcome along mate, nice to see you as well. For those who don't know, Donna is actually Ryan in his mum's account. One thing I've always remembered since he first told me. Bull dag, go have a great day at work, safe day at work. Uh, thanks for stopping in mate, nice to see you and uh, catch up again soon. Looking forward to seeing what else you've got coming. Had a sneak peek and it's looking fantastic. So. Can't wait to see that all finished. Boto with the Eurogames pretty good today, were they? 
I'll have to, uh, I've, I've seen the results, but I'll have to catch up on the actual game. Grab some highlights or something somewhere. Oh, boys. <laughs> that would have been an expensive accident, guys. <laughs> Alright, Martin, across the road, go jump the road into the next field. Spooked me. <laughs> Grab this little bit of mess that I left. Alright, with that. Oh, not quite all of it. Oh, watch out for the cart. <laughs> that would have been an unfortunate little incident. Right, I'm just going to cut straight in here. I'm not. Come on. Up here where it's a bit flatter. That up here on the corner, eh? Okay. More wool being sold. I didn't realise we hit so much. Farmer um, Pete, well, so we have pivot irrigation here. Our corner's about 12 to 18 foot. Oh, no, it's inches tall. <laughs> be pretty tall corn. We just finished spraying last week. Now we're damage diking. Unloaded. Here's this car. We're gonna have <laughs> Scott's gonna have a uh, face off with the car coming the other way. Oh, end of the month from Ford Egg. Looking forward to it, guys. Sir Electric. Am I Australian? Close. Close with the uh, smarter, younger little brother. Uh, from New Zealand, really. So far away, just across the uh, Tasman Sea, or the ditch as we call it. Okay. Commonly confused with the Aussie. That's right, there is that little bit up the top too. Um, we'll sort that out when we take the Commonwealth back up the park. Rico Venter, hello from South Africa, another one of my South African friends, welcome along. Nice to have you here, great to see you. Yep, all the wool now sold, thought we made some money off that. Look, just sell. Somewhere in here, sold wool. Oh, there we go, 13,000. The first wool that I've sold for a wee while. Oh, it's certainly making some bank off that. Good. Mark sold some milk. We're into the big field. This, this field. New up. This field is uh, pretty large now. Kirim going past, back from selling some wool. This field is uh, is pretty big now. Great job getting this farm all up and running. And expanding it. Cutting down trees so you can see, we, or you'll see when we get over to the corner over there. We have uh, Started expanding a little bit further around the corner. I think we're just about at the limits we can go to. Let's uh, just see up there, start getting into the steeper ground. Without the use of the landscaping tool, we won't be able to be farmed. I was going to ask, Dammer Diking, Farmer Pete, is that... Uh, that 
damming, like putting blocks and dikes and that sort of things to get water to um, pond. Be pivots or uh, what exactly is damage diking? Have to have a look. Have you seen how much the map going? Yes, I have, but it's a big forest area through here. Massive. What did we start out with? We had that field, that field, and that field. I think that's all we started out with. And that one or not? Start. You on uh, Discord, Farmer Pete? You use Discord, jump on uh, jump on my Discord, I think there's a IRL Photos channel in there. If you wanted to share some photos of what you're doing, feel free to throw them in there and uh, have a look. I'd love to see what you're doing. Right, GPS up along this long edge. I might split the field into two. Uh, we might just go straight through here, break this part off, and uh, then we can go down and do this side here as one big long edge. Make it a little bit more manageable. There we go, Sports put that up there. So uh, if you are on Discord, jump in the panel, join us, and uh, love to see what you're doing. There you go, they started plowing that little bit off the corner. Cha 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 canola. Excuse me. Right. Oh, here's the big gamble. Seventy. Am I going to get through here with only twenty-five percent capacity? Think so. Look at that action. Scott's going one way. Karim's down that way. Mark must be bailing the straw, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. We can see him up on top of the hill over that way. He is bailing up some straw over there. Yeah, there you go. Pleasant View Farms has just called it too. Lots of bailing to do. There certainly will be. That's one of the uh, things we've got is a couple of auto load trailers for the bales. So make that task a little bit simpler a little bit more pleasant you would ninety percent it got halfway oh, gonna be I don't think I'm gonna make it am I no I don't no, if I if I cut across the, the corner at the moment I reckon I'm uh, too late now. And we're going to have to let Martin catch up and hopefully he can cut through. Oh, there's that answer. We are not going to make it through. So, jump over here. What if we can get up to. Truck. Truck somewhere. Tab. Okay, Martin 60%, so he'll be able to make it the whole way through. Okay, 
and I'll be able to go and get unloaded. You mean? Assuming that we've got, there must be emptying out. Or if it's got some old technology. Poofing along with something. Okay, that's DGS. Scarlet, welcome along. Thank you for the subscription. Oh, that was good. At least Martin was able to make it right through. Been a uh, disaster if he hadn't. drive up and unload and then we'll go and get, get the other one unloaded and Dennis thank you very much for the subscription oh here comes Scott we're racing along wave it Mark yep looks like a uh, Got the auto load out now too. There must be auto loading. Look at that. Perfect. Scott, if you want to, you can jump in the combine. I don't mind running the cart for a little bit. Give it a little bit of variety. Oh, your last comment is in grey letters. Normally, if you normally it won't let you post. Um, yeah, there probably is two hundred character limit as well. I'm a Pete. So. You know, this is always frustrating probably because you're probably on a mobile device to run that message here out on the farm. Okay, got got that sorted out. How many people are on the server at the moment? There is five at the moment. So Scott and Martin here in the combines. We've got Mark over bailing the straw and Kiram as uh Picking up the bales. A real team effort at the moment. Thanks Sinatra, welcome along mate. Nice to see you. Right. That's the uh, wagon full. So we'll go unload this into the truck. How much did you get out of Scott combine there? Oh look, mostly empty. Nice to have you Banks, nice to see you. Scott is outstanding in his field, he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> oh, you'll join Discord, cool mate, yeah I'd love to see some photos. Go and uh, jump in that and share them up. I'm sure uh, there'd be others here, I'd love to see what it is you're doing too. That's quite a decent speed unload actually on this. I think it's not a, uh, this goes up, not a straight auger. Interesting that. Uh, here's that little offset right where it joins. Alright, go in that. Jump here next to the dot again. That last of his. Can't unload Martin, he's facing the wrong way at the moment, so. This Scott was getting some fresh air. It's smelly in the truck, was it? <clears throat> oh. Empty. Right. 
Nathan, thank you very much for the subscription. Talking too much. Not drinking enough. Scorpion, the more the merrier. <laughs> Uh, is that, are you proposing to Farmer Pete there? Quite sure we're uh, we're not running that sort of Discord. This is not a matchmaking service. Turned around, get him unloaded. There we go. Uh, Scott's going to start opening that other part of the field up. Good. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Minor and minor. Got too far away, have I? There we go, let's get up. <laughs> no, it's not a prerequisite to be a moderator to be able to tell. Make me chuckle. Dammer diking it is in row cultivation, a straight point rocket tank followed by a full pedal wheel that creates potholes to eliminate water in it. Oh, nice. When you irrigate, the water sits in those little potholes and uh, plays with the plants rather than running off. Your land must be uh, have a little bit of contour, it's not flat where you are. <laughs> You'll be merry, I'll be. <laughs> Don't bring Murray into it, then you'll get really confused. Alright. Well, I don't know what we were doing with the canola. Is it going into storage? Or were we selling it? Yeah. Ernie Mary on the weekend. Cool. White, we white and Weasley, which is white. Welcome along, mate. Nice to have you here. Great to see you. Ota oh, doesn't want to be Mary. Mary, Mary. It's interesting. It's Mary. Mary, but it's pronounced Felt Murray. Oh, goodness. Martin will be back. That's good. I have a little bit of time to unload. Sold one and styloed one load. <laughs> Mary. Mary had a little lap. Deep path. Alright. Well, I'll go and uh, we'll alternate. So, the last one got styled. We'll run through this one. Mine's open. Oh, that's it. There's a cover. There's a cover. That's pretty cool. I thought it was opening the sides. Now I think... Hold on. We have to drive through the... Uh, drive through and under? Chickens, 
squash poultry. Flipper, I'm not in it. Okay. Oh, easy fit. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not sure what you took back, Banks. I'm pleased you did. here and back over. I just thought probably not far away from needing to be unloaded. I do like this farmyard, it's quite a nice nice setup the way it is. Got a Thunder Creek trailer there, I didn't know that. Perfect. over here in the field now, which makes it easy to get this offloaded. Uh. Landon Fishburn, thank you for the subscription. Alright, we'll erase down now. Oh, I should... Ah, we'll have enough to empty out by that one. Scott George, welcome along mate, nice to see you. Hope you are doing well mate. That's another one who spent a little bit of time, he was uh, really with us the first day we were on the server. This is the only downside, get these patches of crop which are a little bit hard to harvest. A bit adventurous along the edge of this field. Floating free. What have we got going on here? You guys have been pretty keen how you've uh, managed to cut in and around this field. Look at this, look at this gully. Got a bit of space in there we could uh, cut into a little bit. Impressive job guys, along that edge. No, I don't know if there is any place schools that came out of this quota. Not quite sure. I know, I'm pretty sure this was a uh, FS17 map they updated and brought into 19 by Ball Act modding, if I'm not mistaken. Doing things from memory here. Hope you're having a nice weekend anyhow Scott, nice to see you, nice to have you here. And Toman G is here as well, nice to see you mate. Hope all is well, uh, we'll head down here and wait until Martin's turned around and we can get him unloaded as well. Block work I say, well oiled machine going on it. Just taking a picture of the wood piles. <laughs> Would have actually loved to have seen. Alright, oh we've missed out on our missed out on our high price on wheat. Come on. Eighty five that 
Le Art du Pain. That way. Yeah. Best price for canola. Is it actually isn't that far away? Might take the next load down there. Old. Yeah, we do, um, Farmer Pete, we've got a little bit around where I am with the pivots. Certainly noticed, um, have noted, picked up on that. Quite, quite cool to look at actually when you see them running and see all the water coming out on the end. Like you say, they have to travel and cover more distance, but they're spraying at a higher rate, irrigating at a higher rate, and then sort of the inside ones are just almost dripping. It looks quite cool when you look along them and, and see the different, uh, droplets. Yeah. And got turns around, we might as well quickly pick up him after having done that length. When you found seven of your eight cows, guess where we found them? Where did you find them, Wyatt? I remember that last time you had to, uh, last stream you'd only just come in from, from looking for them or something, wasn't it? Where, where did you find them? Looking forward to hearing this. Farmer JP, welcome along. Nice to see you. Another one of our South African farmers. Nice to have you here, mate. You'll find a lot of company from your uh, countrymen here. Martin over here in the combine. Martin Nagel is obviously South African. We had uh, Jacques Rousseau was here earlier. Um, haven't seen Yako for a wee while, but Yako's been a big supporter of my channel for a long time. Right from early days. You found them in the woods. How many days after, well, did you find them the same day you went looking for them, or did you have to, uh, did you have to look for a few days to find them all quiet? That's one thing I'd love in FS22 if they had a uh, better. Be careful, the truckers. Um, thousand three quarters. Better water management, like, you know, yes, you have droughts, you could irrigate, you could uh, choose what to do with water, and actually, you know, irrigating or something like that made a difference to yield. That'd be pretty cool. Love the content, always enjoy it. Well, thank you very much, Farmer JP. Really appreciate hearing that. It's nice to have people come in and tell you that they're enjoying what you do. Nice to have a validation that it's. Not all in vain. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Indeed, thank you, Toman G, as well, for that uh, reminder. If you are enjoying the stream, please uh, make sure you hit a like button. Help with the YouTube algorithm to recommend my content to more people. Gets more viewers, which means the channel will grow and uh, we can do some more great things. Even inch of the rain annually, that is not very much.
pivots on West Texas map are fun. We've only got that one field with the pivot in it. Um, and because they fertilise and we've done the anhydrous and I think we've got our fertiliser applications pretty much 100%. So there's really no point to... Uh, really no point to using them. Maybe next growing season we could uh, do that as a way of putting our fertiliser on with the precision, the precision farming. We'll probably be too busy with the uh, cattle by the time we get to the next growing season. Well that's the plan anyhow. Cattle on West Texas. There we go, there's all the uh, there's South Africans. Alright, so Mark's still over there. Carry me. Yeah, let Gonna use that for our sales. A week to find them or what? We'll find seven of the eight anyhow. Well, I'm pleased you found, uh, pleased you found the majority. Hopefully the last one will turn up somewhere. You've only used one score. Okay. The um the round fields on the map aren't actually as bad. I thought they were going to be really difficult to uh, work in, but they're actually not too bad. But when you've got a little bit of a uh, patch connection, which I'm assuming Martin does. Um, South Africa is about as far away from where the server's hosted in, I think it's in LA this one, so west, uh, west coast of America, we're about as far away as you could be from it, it's doing pretty well. Probably the one benefit to driving a combine with the GPS, as long as you can get lined up on each end, uh, it'll be okay. Yeah, exactly, Scorp, down the middle, and then they're fine. That's exactly what we did with, um, you'd run parallel with where the pivots parked. Um, they're not too bad at all. Take a headland pass off, and uh, things work out pretty pretty neatly. Right, there we go. Martin emptied out, and like he said before, the timing's pretty good for Scott to be back down here. Ready to be emptied out too. Oh, the one you can't find is the littlest one on the herd. Oh, I hope they show up quiet. I know even losing one animal is a... Uh, put some time and effort into them. They still have a decent price. The 90% of your water you buy are a peak. Seems to be in Oh, it's got full... Oh, it's a tricky part to be a tricky part to harvest. But. Right. Right, it must have been full. Bit of a mound in the middle there. Yeah, it doesn't like the bumps, does it? That big wide header. Get the landscaping tool out of it. Some of those out of it.
All right, let's get this into the truck, and then we can probably run it down. I'm gonna take this down to that cell point. We've got to look and see what's going on down there. Into the back in the truck. Hang it right and follow the road. Be pretty easy. Oops, hit the brakes and uh, cruise control off. And then it couldn't use the hand I was using for my bottle to <laughs> accelerate. Brickles in the woods are not fun. <laughs> I can imagine why it. Right, where do I go? It's in one of this. In there, is it? We're on the other side of the village. Ended up in that hole. Right. Whoops. See the truck behind the tree. Fortunately their brakes were good enough. We didn't crash into them. Right, then there it is. Rebecca Mule. Where am I meant to be? I read the wrong one. Up there. I completely misread that when we were looking at the bell points. Now I'm going to take the truck down the small little village street. Don't mind me. Yeah, I must read it in Potar. That's the cotton cell point. That's all right. We'll get to go on a ticky tour of the map. Look around. Set up a big place up there, here, is Right. Map helps can run all the way down around this road. Well, it's nice to have you back, Wyatt. I'm pleased to have you here, buddy. All 
Right, there we go. You can see the uh, big green light. So, go up that way. Go around a bit further yet. Okay, this looks a bit more promising. feeling you gentlemen are talking about some rugby scores are they 35 8 let's see rugby somewhere in there balls have you still had a uh, provincial super rugby type competition so I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to a bit of a, a bit more international rugby this year with the uh, spring box and all blacks get to face off again good Left then a right. of this map I'll ever see. <laughs> oh check out this. The sawmill, this is a sawmill. But in here, guys have set up a wood cell point for firewood. <laughs> have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight firewood cell point. So they've been part of the clearing, clearing all the trees out. They uh, cut a lot of it up oh, and uh, turned it all into plywood. Now, oh, that's our crop. Wasn't worried about it and didn't realise we owned that field. After that ticky tour, the guys are all going to be full, waiting for Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Don't drive on there again. <laughs> I'm coming Martin, it's, it's a race. <laughs> Let him go. What you have to say about your Springboks, Farmer JP? Oh, apart from the fact they're the world champions. Mark's corner, yeah, that was Mark's corner. Cool, the, the, the plywood. Am I a Blues fan? No. No, Hurricane supporter here. The only Super Rugby team in New Zealand not to make a final this year. All because they couldn't beat the Brumbies in South Africa, in Canberra. Hi Grizzly, how you doing buddy? Nice to, to see you again. 
Right, Scott, are you going to make it through to the other side of this all, Scott? I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a negative then. How's my week been? My week's been good, thanks Grizz. Been uh, busy as always. Did he really good? Not too bad for the middle of winter for us. Have you uh, asked, have you moved into your house yet? The last time we were chatting you were uh, just signing on the dotted line. Yeah, next time, Jacks. Next time we'll get to the final. Fingers crossed that next year Super Rugby back to a full 15 team competition. Be uh, nice to see. Is this map for all platforms? I believe it is. Actually, um, while we're thinking, I'll have Cruise control on. The yeah. certainly is. Yep, a hundred percent is a uh, console map as well. What? Kim, Agro Bob, Sonne, greetings from Denmark. Welcome along, mate. Nice to have you here. Hope you're having a nice uh, Saturday evening in Denmark. Thank you very much for joining. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Nice to have you here. Oh, still searching. Still looking. Yeah, um... American Life Farming looks, it is a stunning map, whereas um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm, I've got plans to do a series on it, but uh, I'm just trying to find the time to do it, but I was actually going to do that as a console series. I thought, instead of uh, doing something with everything we've got now, Andrew joined, just joined in, jumping into the truck. There we go. Andrew, if you want to, you can take that all down and put it in the silo at the farm. If you like. Um, yeah, I was going to do that as a console series. So step back from having all the uh, assists and mods and everything that comes with PC. And uh, see how we go running uh, a PlayStation series. So that was the plan. Trying to find the time to fit it all in. But yeah, um, Lancey Boys did a fantastic job on that. There's been a few issues with the Xbox release of it, with some clashes, which seems to be the Alpine Farming DLC, but it's completely outside his control. So. I'm a pizza in a 45.55. Nice. Gosh, you'd have to concentrate if you don't have GPS on that when you're running in the corn then, uh, Pete. Yeah, so it came out for console yesterday. The PC version isn't quite released yet. Um, but I've had a look around on the 
beta version of the PC. A bit of a play on that into the video preview of that. So uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool map. One thing I do say is the land's quite expensive, so you're not going to be buying up large very quickly um, if you're playing that way. So you can play with the starting farm. It won't be, I don't think it'll be far away from PC, Grizz. It's, um... I think he was just, once the console version had passed, there was just a few tweaks he was going to make to the PC version. But I thought it will be pretty much the same. Um, there is going to be a second PC version, which is with Farming Agency. adds all the extras that comes through them, all the Maze Plus and everything like that. So, one thing I like the most about it is all the crops put in it for um, console players. Those onions, tomatoes, rye. I'll do this from memory now. Might have been sorghum, I think. Carrot. And that was all. Alfalfa. Farmer JP, nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Hope you had a nice rest of your. Uh, Sunday, Saturday evening. Must be quite a little, getting quite late for you now. You any plans to go back to doing any videos, Grizz, or are you just uh, just making do with playing the game when you've got time, relaxing and filling out with the farming? Yeah, you're right, Evan. It certainly is. Um, I think I've got some pretty good setups, so I'm going to play it with Seasons and Precision Farming. And uh, have a little bit of a plan to be starting off a little bit as a uh, contractor. New to the area, having a, only some basic equipment. Um, and doing some contracts to be able to build up. We do own, I am going to own a field, so we will be able to do our own work, but um, we'll see how that goes. That's the plan anyhow, if I have time to, to fit it all in, do that. But I'm looking forward to playing on it actually. Now I like these tractors with the um, the bale push on the front. Very cool. Too far away. Pretty much empty, mate. Do. Go over and find me, Martin. It is the other con one. Sharpening your texting and driving skills. Well, if you've seen mine when I've been trying to read chat and drive in this, then you certainly wouldn't want me doing it. Oh, lag spike there. Busy with life. Love to get back into it. Mate, even if I'm in, you know. You do what you gotta do to fit it fit in what you wanna have, but um I literally even if it was just one video a week at a consistent time people that are oh, sorry Martin. Still people that are enjoy that and still watch along. But we you know said all along is um consistency's the key really. Oh, what's happening, Martin? Martin, Martin, what are you doing? You're going backwards. That you do.
Oh, we're uh, bailing over here now, are we? All finished and the other fields. I've seen some of my mods come in. I think they're cool. Where do you find them? I may be so. Um, I look all over the place for mods. Uh, obviously, first port of call is the Mod Hub. Um, Facebook and Facebook groups are some of the biggest ones. Um, you know, custom modding group. There's lots of stuff gets released through there that um, just members release and they share posts there. Um, Mod Network is one that I use a lot and seems to be pretty trustworthy and fair to modders. Um, but often if there's something I really want I'll just type it in so let's imagine you know you wanted this man truck if you knew what it was called what is it on the side there like I'd just type in FS19 man TGS18 and more often than not on Google you'll find a lot of the mods will pop up um, there's a few mods I've got which are private but very few, and then a few which um, some people have kindly modded for me with putting logos and things like that on. But if there was something specific you'd seen um, for Western Australia and No Creek Farms, I've got a spreadsheet in the videos which share a lot of what I've got. If you want to find something, that's all there. What do you guys want to plant next? Got Andrew sitting over there with not much to do. We could get him started on some planting in 60 if we wanted to. Um, no, those balers are square only. Uh, those trailers are square only, Kerem. Go buy another baler though. We'll lease one. COVID curfew kicks in from now until 4 a.m. Yeah, Brett. Brett's asking, why do you guys like role playing? I use farming simulators that escape from the stressful farming real life. I guess there's, there's so many different ways to play, and a lot of people do do it that way as well, Brett. Um, I guess people who aren't real farmers, and there's plenty of people who play, um, who probably just find it a, a fun to, you know, pretend you're a farmer I guess I like using roleplay as a way to um we you are know, creating videos and coming up with some uh themes and following a bit of a theme for that Lots of different ways. Well, thank you, Farmer Pete. Yeah, it's, it's the nine. That's the work. I'm trying to put everything in. Eh? I know what you're talking about, Chris. Yeah, I tried once, mate. If you're keen to try, just uh, keep trying and practice and practice. You'll improve. I went back and watched my early videos. Um, when we got to my one year anniversary a wee while ago and it was uh it was interesting watching them back seeing how much I've changed over a year how much developed in terms of everything okay Martin's got the truck I might as well unload these few in the back watch full All right, Martin. Thanks for joining us, mate. Nice to uh, nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for all your uh, all your hard work. Great job getting that. All done.
leave that parked up if you like and I'm sure someone will want to carry on from your carry on from where you are Brett's suggesting putting in soybean do they have Land Rover mods? Um, a message. There is some Land Rover mods. If you saw the farm, some guy's video recently, he um he had a whole lot in there. I don't think there was a defender though. So that's the only thing that might be might be missing. Um, but there certainly is some Land Rover mods out there. Plant root crop. Both our Scots did potatoes as well. <laughs> All cotton. Cool. Alright. Well, I might go and jump back into this. I'm going for a little bit. Do a little bit more uh, harvesting here. Is that not going anywhere? Let's turn the GPS on. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is. Still have to give cotton a go, Jacques. Cotton's actually quite fun. Fine cotton. It's um the biggest benefit I guess of it is you don't need any loading wagons or anything running around if you're doing cotton bales. You drive and they unload but you need to do a decent quantity, decent area to get any good income off them or the bale, get some decent bales. That's what I've found any this might say otherwise. Yeah I know where to sell the cotton. <laughs> Thank you Potar. Thank you for reminding me. Always count on you. Loose cotton, yeah, that's what farm some guy are talking and I were talking about. We might do uh, the loose cotton on the um, on West Texas and grab that loose cotton um, pack that's on Mod Hub. Look at this. Andrew's back. Karim's been down and got a new tractor. Tractor and baler. You know what, I thought we know the way we got through those first fields that we were uh, going to chop this out pretty quick, but it's taken a lot longer than I thought. But thought I was going to be able to get it all finished on uh, during the stream, but I don't think we're going to. A little bit. Much of the combine struggles going up the hill. Getting there, not too bad actually. Struggled a bit more than that. Enjoy Grizz, uh, certainly keep an eye out for American Life Farming when it comes out, I reckon you'll thoroughly enjoy it, um, I know MRG's got a few more maps coming out, I know you love Mark's, so keep an eye out for those too, 
and uh, console one coming too. He's been playing on the, the little mountain. So keep an eye out for those ones coming soon. But anyhow, nice to chat as always, Grizz. Take care, mate, and we'll uh, catch you again sometime soon. <laughs> no scorpion fuel in these combines, no. Like I said at the start of the stream, we play semi-realistically on this server score. Rusty Money Gaming coming in. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm pleased you've been able to jump in for a little bit. Busy weekend off. Always you find that when you have a weekend off and you're not working, they always end up busy. But great to have you here, mate. Nice to see you. Now if you don't already, go check out Rusty's channel. He's got a uh, great channel going on. Lots of uh, challenges and also has a Facebook group with uh, Farm Some Challenges where they set up different gameplay modes and different ways to play the game and set challenges for you to do. So go check that out as well and uh, give them some love. Andrew, whoa. Unload while we're here before I go back around the field. Ah, high school alumni weekend. Nice. Haas Sniper just subscribed. Welcome along, Haas. Thank you very much for that subscription. What is my favourite track brand? Um, always have enjoyed John Deere. I grew up with John Deere on the farm. Um, also had Fords very early on, so open uh, no cabs or anything like that. Open station, I think a lot of you refer to it as. Had the ROPS, the rollover protection on it, and um, so that's sort of what I grew up driving. So I've always been impartial to those. But in terms of current tractors, I mean, actually really like the look and style and that of the fence. Um, you know, even that 9 series that we've got there, the 10 series, even down to the smaller ones, I just think they're a really good looking tractor. I mean, in farm some, there's no difference to them really. If you put a uh, 200 horsepower tractor next to each other, whether it's green, red, yellow, white, black, they're all going to be the same in the game. So at the end of the day, it's just a... Uh, just a preference for how they look. No difference in how they perform or anything. So, or maybe maybe speed. There might be some with speed. And that's what I like about the 10 series fence actually being that 39 kilometer hour. Oh no, 39 miles. I think they're a 60 kilometer hour gearbox. So, pretty cool. The bagger project where grain bins no more needed is that a private one? Not at all. The um, there's the grain bagger and then the silage bagger. Um, you Google, I think the grain bagger is called an Akron, A K R O N. Um, I know that's available. And silage bagger, which we used, um, can't remember the name of that one, the brand name of that one. At the moment off the top of my head. But that was released through a Facebook group that I followed. Like I said, some of the Facebook groups are pretty good. There's actually another bagger being made that I thought might have been finished by now um, and available, but hasn't been. I've been sort of keeping an eye on progress for that. It looked really good too. There you go. Thank you, Scorp, for sharing Rusty's channel. Certainly go give that a, uh, go give that a like. I don't like the fence as well, I'm a pet, yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, that's it, Kim Ekron. Mark Williamson, welcome along. Hi to you as well. Thank you for jumping into the stream. Hope you're having a nice morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you're joining us from. Look at that over there. So we've got two bailers running now, two combines, grain cart. Andrew's just run down with the truck. Plenty going on on the farm. Echo stuff looks nice, don't know how good they are in real life. I think I'm starting to see more and more of it around our region. Um, it's never been a big brand here, but it certainly seems to be becoming more and more accepted or mainstream. Um, there we go, that's sold as well, another $33,000. I mean the two bailers going, they're getting through that real quick. That uh I'm assuming Kiram changed his bail capacity, it looks like he might have only been at four thousand litres the first few. Alright, so we just got this uh this block in here still to get finished off. I might, but I might do, I might cut through the middle and just try and get a straight line going north and south. And uh, then, I'm not sure if we're going to have quite enough time well, for me to wrap things up. Well, the others will probably stay going for a little bit longer. Let's see if we can get a GPS course set up on here. Cruise along through here and get a nice straight line off. You are in the Netherlands, Mark, so it is evening. Well, nice. Hope you've been enjoying your Saturday and having a nice Saturday evening. Full again, is he? Here comes Andrew in the grain cart, not far behind. Teamwork, nice teamwork. Even some nice blight manners as well, Scott. Like it. Well, I'm making a decent dent. There's not that much. There is that built up there, which is ready to harvest now, too. 
So if you weren't here earlier, we talked about the server. Um, it is open to everyone. If you want to jump on the Discord server, join up on there, and uh, all the info there, where to get the mods, what the password is, everything's all available through that. So jump in there. We uh, have a multiplayer chat channel. Talk about what we're going to do, what jobs need to be done, what the plans are. So all I ask really is that you treat it with a little bit of respect as if it's your own server, your own gameplay and uh, we're not being super realistic but uh, we are we are treating it reasonably realistic. <clears throat> Excuse me for a sec. That's a bit better. <laughs> we are treating it reasonably realistically so if you do want to play on it, just jump on, and uh, there will always be something to do, as you can see with all this land we've got now. Oh, there we go, that's empty. Sorry, Andrew. Just stopped and go there while we were driving. There we go, thank you, Scorp. There's the channel for the, or the Discord link, so... Go jump in, join up, and uh, come in and have some fun. Play with the others. Always seems to be someone on. Almost always. A legendary Mark Thor did 32 or so hours straight on it the other last weekend. Uh, it's when a lot of this field was born. Uh, but Scott's been spending a decent amount of time on there. Karim's been spending a decent amount of time on there. So lots, lots to do. We've got sheep, chickens, cows. No pigs yet. No, we don't have pig, no pigs on the farmers. On this farm, we need to do if you want to join in. Last just bought Agco USA, is that right? Put up on that news. Masty hydraulics are terrible, vents are okay. Alright, well, I think I might uh, get to the end of this row and wrap things up there for the stream before my voice falters any further. So, big shout out and thanks to the guys for joining me today. Scott, Mark, Jerem, uh, we had Marson on here for a while, Andrew jumped on recently. Thanks fellas, nice to have you here, nice to work with you. Uh, thanks for all your hard work getting the server to where it is. And, uh, making it this rather large field. So I would never have expected when we uh, set this up for that all to become one. Thank you gentlemen. Nice to uh, nice to have you here. But I'm going to wrap things up there for today. So thank you all very much for watching. Thanks uh, to all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the chat. It's been nice to talk to you all. Thank you everyone for the uh, kind words around my content and what you're enjoying. It's a privilege to be able to make it for you and privilege to be able to have a chat here and you know, talk to so many different people around the world. Uh, a lot of fun. But uh, I'll get up here, get unloaded, and uh, say thanks once again. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we will catch you in the next one.